All right, test, 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 <clears throat> test. And welcome back to Convincing Idiots. You know, I'm wearing a a Browns hat here this evening, gentlemen. Um, Want to be too proud of Browns. that big guy? Yeah, Dean's wearing a Browns <laughs> tank top. And actually, yeah, that's are... what my hat is, too, is Browns. Okay. So uh, we are in the Northeast Ohio area. If you've listened to us a few times, you know that by now we're in the Barberton area, which is uh, about 40 minutes south of Cleveland, Ohio. So making some news today in pop culture slash sports headlines here, guys. Uh, the Deshaun Watson suspension has finally come to a close. You know, he was, um, as we know in this area especially, he was cited for like 24 counts of sexual misconduct. He settled most of those lawsuits on a court confidentially. And the league gave him initially a six-game suspension using a new um, ex-federal judge who's like a mediator, arbiter, and all this stuff. And the league appealed. They felt that the suspension was not severe enough. And they arrived at a, a settlement today with the Players Union and this other guy that was appointed by the commissioner. So Deshaun Watson has a $5 million fine. He has to do something, some type of, I don't know, program or something like that. I don't know. And then he's out for 11 games. And his first game, week 12, will be, ironically, against his old team, uh, the Houston Texans. So, yeah, so just a lot of craziness. You know, Dean, I know you're definitely, you've been a Browns fan for, several several years so what is what is your take on all this or just interested to get your your point of view <clears throat> um okay so i know I, i'm pretty sure we've talked about this before but i look at deshaun watson's situation for me as a browns fan like i do listen when i listen to michael jackson um hmm. okay i can separate uh the person from the art you know, the artist from the art, you know, what, however you want to put it. I don't need to, you know, I, I'm not going to go hang out with the guy. We're not going to go bounce him from, uh, you know, massage parlor to massage parlor together. Uh, it's going to be, I watch him throw a ball and hopefully another guy with the same uniform fucking catches it. They get more points than the other guys in different uniforms. And I get to be a, a happy drunk guy on Sunday. Other than that, I don't give a shit. I mean, all of these guys, it's the same as the contract. Not the same. Let me, uh, let, let me rephrase that. Not the same because there was, there was people that got hurt and there was people that uh, this, this affected, and, and I'm sorry for that. But it, it's not affecting, this is not part of my football uh, thing. Do I think he should, well, hell, I don't even think he should have been uh, picked up by the Browns first of all. That's that's my first take on it. But since he is, and he is part of the team, as long as, I mean, put somebody else in his uniform number, I don't give a shit, as long as they can throw the football and score more points than the other person throwing the football. That's all I care about. It does suck what he did. And, you know, he should be in jail. So I don't even think the fines or whatever, he should be in jail for what he did. Yeah. Again, it shouldn't affect my football player because he shouldn't be on the team. But again, there's a lot of football players, there's a lot of actors, there's a lot of musicians, there's a lot of people, famous people that do shitty things, but people still go, well, but have you, have you heard the new album? You know, it's not bad. <laughs> you know, it's not like, you, you know, you turn on the album and you just have here masturbating. It, yep. Like, like Kanye West. Those, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you got to... You got what did uh, Kanye do that was that bad? <laughs> <right>. <laughs> well, pl play this back when he uh, when he kills the little guy for uh, sleeping with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> they broke up. He's safe now. It's fine. <laughs> so you don't think, Dean, that the Browns sold their soul to try to win a Super Bowl championship? Well, of course they did. 
Of course. It, and they did. It's not even a soul. I don't care if this guy was a, a priest part time. Nobody deserves what they gave up for this guy. Unless yeah. unless Tom Brady himself is walking in into that locker room, nobody deserves what the Browns gave up. Yeah. So, it, it to me that is again separation of church and state. I I don't. I'm not seeing the two things together. Nobody should have been given given up what what the Browns gave up. So that's where I see that. There you go, Nick. What do you think? Uh, I I hope he gets injured very badly um, immediately. Actually, <laughs> um, by his old team, that would be wonderful. Um, you know, I and you're only saying that because you feel slight karma will come after you if you say you want him to die, right? Um, what? I, I don't know. I just I want him to be here. No, because I don't want him. To, I want him to suffer. But you oh, know, he made okay. he made people suffer. I don't Fair want enough. him to die. I want him to see the one thing he has in this life taken from him, and that would be cool. So that would be cool. There you go. I'm all um, right with that. Yeah, but no, it's uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not a Browns fan. Uh, I I find it a a little um. I don't know what the right word is. I find it uh, not impressive. Me, it is kind of impressive. The ways that they find to be bad is kind of crazy. Like the sure. different inventive ways they find to fuck up in <laughs> at, like every aspect of a like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't think of a professional sports franchise that has been consistently so like poor at everything. Like I just don't. Mm-hmm. Detroit know Lions how it happens. Ooh, Even yeah. the Lions, like I in my lifetime have seen the Lions be a good team. Like yeah. I remember Barry Sanders. Like they were I, I've seen it happen. It was since I've been alive. It's just it's wild to me. But um I it, well, you were ta- you were saying though about like um the fact that he's coming back against Soul Team and we were talking a little bit off camera. I'm like it's so like Per, so, like, the very first game of the season, I believe the Browns play the Panthers, which is where their right. old quarterback went to. So yep. he is now going to start against his old team who cast him off for <laughs> this predatory piece of shit who won't even get to play Mm-mm. for them. So, like, they're also going to pay the quarterback for the other team in week one to try to beat them. That's right. So that's, that's the thing. And then, like, mm-hmm. so that's kind of ironic. And then I just, when I hear, like, so the suspension was six games. And then they were pushing for maybe like a, a full season, but then they settled on eleven, which just so happened to be the game on the schedule in which they mm-hmm. play his old team. I'm like, that's a little too. I want. I can't help but think that that went into the decision a little bit of like creating that. Well, we can really, you know, drive viewership up if we bring him back in this game and like start and against his old game team and be how like Monday Night Football. I don't. Do we know? You know, it, it, you know what? If it's not, they're. It's certainly going to change, yeah, because yeah. they could they can do that, you know. At least on they Sunday can. night football, they can do that. So yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. It's it's crazy. It's yeah. I yeah. It, I I definitely. I mean, I'm a sort of a fringe Browns fan. I, I'd like to see Cleveland teams win, no matter who they are. The Guardians, the Cavs, you know, the Browns would be nice to to see them win something. But I don't know. I didn't agree with them bringing them either, Dean. I think yeah. it's crazy you know and they really and then they start him on preseason it's like really and it's like you re, you're gonna roll the guy out there you knowing he's gonna be suspended at least i mean what was the point of that i i i, I it's just nuts like they're not reading the room too well as an organization that's for sure so you know, there's always gonna be a thing even if they win the super bowl <clears throat> which is not likely this year but it's even a couple years from now with him um they they have the they have the talent to compete, that's for sure. You know, with everybody, as long as they can retain Nick Chubb and some other key members of the team and all that. But there's always going to be that that smell to it, if you will. You know that they that they sold out. Not that other teams don't, but just with everything, the accusations and everything. It's just, it's always going to be that stigma. Yeah, you won the Super Bowl, and there'll be plenty of people. They'll. You know, they're going to cancel any parades in Cleveland if they win the Super Bowl, that's for sure. But there's always going to be a lot of people that's just like, yeah, but at what cost to to bring a championship? I don't know, man. So it's just kind of a crazy, crazy thing. So, well, hey, Dana, go ahead. If, if, if the Browns' history has uh, taught us anything, Brian, he's not going to make it. 
Mm-hmm. This is where quarterbacks are going to die. <laughs> right, yeah. The, yeah. Something's It'll going be. to happen, or he's going to shit the bed, or well, he's this. he isn't the answer. It, he's, this is going to be a, a, another <laughs> you got chapter two years in the if blunder. That, go. <laughs> right. He has the most talent. I mean, arguably, he has the most talent of any quarterback they've put on the field since sure. at least Bernie Kosar, right, in the 80s. And Bernie wasn't a fabulous talent, but he had a, he had definitely had a compared to all the other quarterbacks. He, he was after, I mean, he, yeah, he had something. He had a lot of intangibles, you know. He had swagger and a great perm. Exactly right. So I don't know. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. So we'll we'll talk about it a little bit here and there. So. Hey, did you like that video? You know you did, and we know you did. So stop screwing around and go like that video. Subscribe to our channel and join us for some more.